Welcome to Robovation Studio. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating world of microcontrollers. First, we'll see what microcontrollers are, then dive into Arduino, followed by ESP32, and finally, wrap up with Raspberry Pi. Stick around until the end because I have a special surprise for you. And she's here. So what exactly is a microcontroller? Simply put, a microcontroller is a compact integrated circuit designed to govern a specific operation in an embedded system. Unlike a computer, which is designed for a wide range of tasks, a microcontroller is optimized to execute a single or a few tasks efficiently. Here are some popular examples. The Arduino, ESP32, and even the Raspberry Pi. Each of these is a microcontroller or microcontroller-based board that's widely used in various DIY projects. Microcontrollers are everywhere. They're in your microwave, washing machine, and even your TV remote. Let's take a look at some common uses. Arduino, used in projects like home automation, robotic, and even simple games. ESP32, great for IoT projects thanks to its built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability. Raspberry Pi, while more of a mini-computer, the Raspberry Pi can function as a microcontroller, especially in projects involving sensors, cameras, and other peripheral. As you can see, microcontrollers are the brains behind many of the devices we use daily. So why use microcontrollers? Here are some of the key benefits. Cost-effective. Microcontrollers like the Arduino and ESP32 are inexpensive, making them ideal for mass production in consumer electronics. Low power consumption. Devices like the ESP32 are designed to consume very little power, which is crucial for battery-operated projects. Compact size. The small size of boards like the Arduino Nano allows them to be embedded into a wide range of products. Ease of programming. With platforms like Arduino IDE and MicroPython for ESP32, programming microcontrollers is accessible, even for beginners. Choosing the right microcontroller depends on your project's requirements. For simple tasks, an Arduino might be all you need. But if you're looking for more processing power or built-in Wi-Fi, the ESP32 could be a better fit. If you need more versatility, especially with multimedia, the Raspberry Pi might be the way to go. Microcontrollers like Arduino, ESP32, and Raspberry Pi are the cornerstones of modern electronics, and understanding how to use them opens up endless possibilities for innovation. Whether you're looking to automate your home, build a robot, or create an IoT device, microcontrollers will be your best friend. Today, we're going to answer a fundamental question. What is Arduino? Let's dive in. Arduino is an open source platform used for building electronics projects. Arduino consists of both a physical programmable circuit board and a piece of software, or IDE, that runs on your computer. Used to write and upload computer code to the physical board. The Arduino platform has become quite popular with people just starting out with electronics, and for good reason. Unlike most previous programmable circuit boards, the Arduino does not need a separate piece of hardware in order to load new code onto the board, you can simply use a USB cable. Additionally, the Arduino IDE uses a simplified version of C++, making it easier to learn to program. Finally, Arduino provides a standard form factor that breaks out the functions of the microcontroller into a more accessible package. In this channel, we upload many Arduino projects as shorts and video those who does and watch watch it later. Let's talk about some features of Arduino. Microcontroller. This is the brain of the board. The most common one is the 8 Mega 328 on the Arduino Uno. Digital and analog pins. These are used to connect components. Digital pins can be used for reading or writing digital signals, while analog pins read varying voltage levels. Power supply. You can power the board using a USB connection or an external power source like a battery. USB interface. This is used to upload your code from the computer to the board. Other components. Depending on the board, there may be additional components like voltage regulators, reset buttons, and communication interfaces. Different Arduino models offer varying features. 
Arduino Uno, great for beginners, with 14 digital I.O. pins, 6 analog inputs, and a USB connection. Arduino Mega offers more I.O. pins, making it ideal for larger projects. Arduino Nano, a compact version suitable for breadboards and small-scale projects. This little device is a powerhouse for IoT, robotics, and more. Let's explore what makes the ESP32 so special. The ESP32 is a low-cost, low-power system on-chip microcontroller with integrated Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities. It's developed by Espressif Systems and is widely used in various applications, from home automation to wearables. Let's take a look at some of the key features that make the ESP32 stand out. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth The ESP32 supports both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, making it perfect for wireless communication. Whether you want to connect to a network or communicate with other devices, the ESP32 has you covered. Multiple I.O. pins It has a rich set of GPIO pins, which can be used for digital input and output, analog inputs, and even touch sensing. Dual-core processor The ESP32 features a powerful dual-core processor, allowing for multitasking and handling complex computations. Low power consumption. Designed for energy efficiency, the ESP32 offers various power saving modes, making it ideal for battery powered applications. The versatility of the ESP32 opens up a wide range of applications. Here are a few examples IoT projects, wearables, smart home devices. In summary, the ESP32 is a versatile and powerful microcontroller, perfect for a wide range of projects. Its combination of wireless connectivity, processing power, and low power consumption makes it an excellent choice for makers and developers. Raspberry Pi. But what exactly is it? Is it a dessert? Nope. The Raspberry Pi is actually a small, affordable computer that's roughly the size of a credit card. The Raspberry Pi was created by the Raspberry Pi Foundation, a UK-based charity dedicated to promoting the study of computer science and programming. Since its launch in 2012, it has become incredibly popular among hobbyists, educators, and professionals alike. So guys, what can you actually do with a Raspberry Pi? The possibilities are almost endless. You can use it as a regular computer, learn to code, build robots, create home automation systems, or even make your own retro gaming console. Whether you're a beginner looking to learn the basics of programming or an experienced developer wanting to experiment with IoT projects, the Raspberry Pi offers a versatile platform that's both fun and educational. Now let's talk about the different models. There are several versions of the Raspberry Pi, including the Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi Zero. Each is designed for different types of projects and needs. For example, the Raspberry Pi 4 is great for more powerful applications, like running a media server, or even a lightweight desktop environment, while the Raspberry Pi Zero is perfect for compact, low-power projects. It's also worth mentioning that there's another family in the Raspberry Pi lineup, the microcontrollers, like the Raspberry Pi Pico. While we know that the Pico is a powerful option for projects requiring precise control and lower power consumption. All right, guys, if you're ready to get started with your own Raspberry Pi, here are a few things you'll need. A Raspberry Pi board, a micro SD card with an operating system, a power supply, and some basic peripherals like a keyboard and mouse. Once you have everything set up, you can start exploring different projects. The best part? There's a huge community of Raspberry Pi enthusiasts who share their projects and ideas online. You'll never run out of inspiration. That's it. If this video get 10 comment, I will upload long form video about ESP32. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this overview of microcontrollers helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content.
For those who stayed till the end, here's that surprise. I've created a document packed with information about ESP32 and Arduino, and if you subscribe, the link will open for you. Let me know in the comments what you want to learn about next. Until next time, keep innovating.